Jacoby, good to see you again. Mr. Secretary, just call me Jake. This must be a pretty sensitive meeting based on the venue, having a meeting in the middle of nowhere. Jake, we need you for a very critical mission. The odds of survival are low, but the reward is high. Jake, your country needs you. The free world needs you. And by God, we need you. What's the mission? Jake, Bill, I was never here. Chief, I sure am glad that fat-ass politician is gone. He'd eat his own mother if he thought he'd get him a vote. <laughs> Jake, my boy, let's get serious. This mission has been authorized by the president, but we are keeping no records. Jake, if you are caught, we will disavow any knowledge of you or this mission. Well, Chief, nothing new there. Jake, there's a nuclear scientist in North Korea who wants to defect to the West. If we can get this scientist out, we not only learn all of North Korea's nuclear secrets, we will hinder their development of weapons for many years to come. Sounds like my kind of job, Chief. When do I leave? First thing in the morning, Jake, a car will pick you up, take you to the sub pen. Details will be given to you then, along with the equipment. Get all your effects in order. We will not be talking again until the end of the mission. Okay, gives me time for a cold one. Chief, you want to join me at the occasional brew? Sure thing, Jake. Let's go. I want to tell you a story. Bob, Cindy said she saw you with Bucky at the coffee shop. I thought we were a couple. Julie, you know I love you, baby. Blah, blah, blah. Why do the skinny weasels get all the girls? She should be with me. Jake, how's the custody situation going with your daughter? Going good. Get her every Saturday now, man. Yeah, I noticed your language is softened. Yeah, I don't want little Annie picking up my bad language. Chief, Chris, let's do a couple shots. I got a big job tomorrow. Jake, let's keep this job quiet. Let's have a shot. Time for me to go talk to that little woman. Hey, hey, sweet thing, you want to go somewhere quiet? Get lost. What do you mean, get lost? You know who I am? Hey, man, leave us alone. Shut up, you skinny little weasel. <coughs> Come on, get up. Defend your woman, you little weasel. Chief, just one more shot, then we'll go. Oh, yeah. Looks like trouble. <laughs> Had enough? <laughs> Chief, excuse me for just a minute. Hey, juicy fruit, leave them alone. I ain't no juicy fruit. You want some, weasel? Matter of fact, Juicy Fruit, I do. <laughs> oh, a beer's Juicy Fruit is taking a nap. You ready to go, Chief? Yeah, let's get out of here, Jake. I'll get someone to take out the garbage. See you later, Jake. See you later, Chief. Well, here we go again. Another mini stealth sub. Standard issue, self-destructive caught. I think this will be my last mission. I think I'll make enough money so I can spend more time with my daughter. Annie, I'll soon be done with this, and then we're gonna spend some time together, sweetie. My ass sure is sore from that long submarine ride. Where's Kim? Kim! Kim! Turn that flashlight off! Crap! That's not him! That's some heavy firepower. I've got to get my AR out of the raft.
That's right, duck you suckers. As soon as those heads pop up, I'm gonna take them off. Well, that takes care of those guys. Now to find Kim. Feet. Guess the armor took the brunt of the bullets. Wait, this is a prison. This may be worse than death. Ah, uh, I heard all over. But it looks like the appendages are still in place. Wow, this place smells like the north end of a southbound mule, man. No TV, no internet, and no damn coffee. What kind of hotel is this? Hey! I want my money back. Well, it's almost dawn, and I'm sure the entertainment's gonna come soon, and I'll be the main attraction. Hmm, don't see anyone. How am I gonna get out of this freaking mess? The cavalry's not gonna swoop in to save me this time. Well, I hope the chief and the agency provide for Annie. I should have spent more time with her. Some dad I am. Footsteps. Want some help with that lock, Goofy? Maybe your brother over there let me hold his gun. Hey, hey, you got it open, Einstein. Hey, not polite to point, Dilbert. Lead the way, Macduff. Why do you invade my country? Well, I've never been here before. I heard the beer was pretty good. You know, penalty for this crime is death. Hey, I thought the beer would be worth it. You tell me why you're here, and maybe no death. I already told you. I'm here for the beer. No beer, you know. Tell me why you're here, now. Hey, you want to go on a date later? We have information. Your name, so, like capital of South. You work for U.S. government. You want scientist Kim. See, we know. You tell me more, or you die. Ma'am, anyone ever tell you you got a nice set of bombas? Okay, you wanna play? You go back to cell, wait for special service. Well, would you mind fetching me a beer? Ah, uh, I told you, no beer! Well... I guess Dr. Frankenstein will be down here pretty soon to torture my smart ass. Ah, why did I have to give Dragon Lady such a hard time? They're gonna make it worse on me. How did I let myself get in this mess? North Korea? I must have been out of my mind. Annie, Annie, how could I do this to you? I've let you down again. This was my last job. Then I promise I was going to spend more time with you. Take you to the zoo. Take you to the aquarium like you always asked me to do. But I was too busy. Annie, I remember the last time we were together. It was your birthday. We were dancing in the yard. Remember? Come on, Daddy. Dance with me. Dance with me. Baby, I'll sing your song. I'm a soul. I'm a soul man. Do 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 do. I'm a soul man. Do 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 do. I'm a soul man. Do 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 do. Soul man. They're not gonna keep me in here. Some way, somehow, I'm gonna get back to Annie. I'm coming.
I'm coming, Annie. Well, here comes Tweedledee and Tweedledum again. I guess I'm going for my special service, as Dragon Lady said. You fellas need to tidy this place up a bit. Mr. Soul, if you could be so kind as to lay down in the chair for me. Well, you're not giving me much of a choice with that AK-17 pointed at me. Well, you got me strapped in nice and tight. You gonna tell me a bedtime story? Mr. Soul, I have injected you with a special formula I have created from South American poison frog saliva. The serum is excellent for my work. The serum paralyzes the victim completely, but you will be able to see, hear, and feel everything. I don't like a lot of crying and screaming while I do my work. It's the soul. My name is Dr. Frank Stein. I was in charge of genetic engineering in East Germany. My job was to try and create super strong soldiers that would mindlessly follow orders. The vest did not like what I was doing and wanted to put me away. The North of Korea gave me asylum and I became trusted scientist for glorious leader. The two guards that brought you here are examples of my work. You, my friend, are here because you will not talk to Miss Sue. I have read your dossier. Very impressive. You have escaped many times but you will not escape from North Korea. I will now explain how I will extract the information from you. I paralyze my patient. You cannot move, but you can feel everything. My machine is tuned to the frequency of the human pain receptor. I push this button on the floor with my foot, apply the force, and every pain receptor in your body will react. Mr. Soul, victim usually talk after one jolt. But since I like you so much, I give you two. <laughs> I love this. I love this. How do you feel, Mr. Soul? There's a little more. I better stop. I'll turn you into a vegetable. Mr. Soul. You think this is better than waterboard? Time to go back to cell and think. God, take Mr. Soul back to cell. Miss Sue, I looked in this one's eyes. I don't think he's going to talk. If I use my machine again, he will be a vegetable. He will not be able to talk. He very stubborn. I will talk to him again. If he no talk, he die. Long live glorious leader. Glorious leader, take your medicine. He live long, long time. Any word on Jake? No word yet, Chief. But we believe they have him. Terry, can we get him out? Any assets there? Chief, you know how tight Korea is. We have nothing there. Terry, we have that Korean we picked up in Los Angeles last year. See if we can make a trade. Okay, Chief, I'm on it. I hope that crazy German scientist hasn't done anything to Jake. Mr. So, you ready to talk? I just don't know. Where... What? Where am I? What? I... I don't know. What? Oh, can't think. Okay, your choice. You die. Did you get our equipment out of hospital? We ready for Mr. Soul's special event. Yeah, Miss Sue. All is ready. Glorious leader, 
has very special event for Mr. Soul. Glorious leader, one Mr. Soul to die, but he must suffer first. The old hospital will be destroyed by the atomic blast. God, Mr. Soul die! Doctor, tell me more about your plan. Mr. Soul will be slowly burned during the initial heat wave. Then he will be disintegrated during the final blast. <laughs> I have cameras in the hospital so we can all watch. <laughs> sober up. I can't let it end like this. I've got to get out of here. I've got to take care of Annie. Ugh. Daddy, daddy, bo baddy, banana, nana, fo fatty, me, my, mo maddy. Daddy, 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 bo baddy, banana, nana, fo fatty, me, my, mo maddy. Daddy. Come on, Jake. Come on, you can do it. Just stand up. We gotta get out of here. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Ugh. Uh. <coughs> what? Those jokers forgot to lock the cell. Well, at least that cleared my head. I gotta get out of here now. Need some shoes. I'll check this closet. Hey, there is a Santa Claus. All my clothes are here. I don't see any guards. Coast looks clear. I need to climb to the top of that hill. See if I can find a building with a radio. Almost there. There's a hospital where Dr. Frankenstein lit me up. I don't see anybody. I'll wait up here a few minutes. Then I'll walk down and look inside and see if I can find a radio. I've got to get out of here. Nobody home. I look around. Oh, well, these are the last three rooms. There's gotta be a radio in one of them. Well, Jake, this is the last room and no radio. But look, how freaking convenient. A bottle of whiskey and a glass. Well, looks like you've been taken advantage of by an East German quack and a dragon lady. This has all been a setup. Well, I guess I have one final toast. A dooby dooby doo. A dooby dooby. Oh yeah. Well, Annie, that toast was to you, sweetie. I'll probably not see you again. <laughs> I remember the last time that I saw you. Daddy, I have the best daddy in the world. And you're my little sweet pea. Daddy, I love you very, very, very much. And I love my sweet pea very, very, very much. Well, guess I'll just go out in the hallway and wait for Tweedledee and Tweedledum to get here. What the hell? Jacob be sold. Your time has come. Jacob be sold. Walk into the light. Your fate awaits. <laughs>